Oh, oh, I think we may have more breaking news, and it's going to make me so angry. Is that is the button time? Uh, yeah, I hit right, the stupid the button. button. Who's going to break the news? Who's it makes it even better that I know you don't like Who's the news that's coming. Who's going to break the news? And the New York Jets have traded for Jonah Williams? No. Oh. No. This is a trade that I actually mentioned last week. Uh, it's from Ian Rappaport. The New York Jets are trading Elijah Moore to the Cleveland Browns. Ooh, okay. Uh, the Browns get pick number 74 and Elijah Moore for pick 42. So you're moving up in the draft? Yes. Yeah, I like it. I don't. Why not? I would rather have Elijah Moore than me, Cole Hardman. Would you though? I mean, he he went through the, the the last year not being used and all of that. Maybe that's that had less to do with Zach Wilson's suckitude than than we thought. Maybe he really does have a rift with the front office or the coaching staff or whatever. And maybe maybe this is best. Everything I've been on. told, the rift with the front office was done on his side. It was not done on the Jets side. Okay. Uh, of they did not like that that in a year where they were competitive, Elijah Moore came out. They they, they considered it to be a very me first move. Uh, now, as somebody that has graded the draft for many years, I will tell you this is one of the greatest trades I've ever seen in my life for the Cleveland Browns. You just got a receiver who, oh, by the way, is 22 years old. Mm -hmm. He'd be the number one receiver in this class, and it's not even kind of close. I mean, not even in the ballpark. He'd over go top Quentin, 10. Over Jackson no Smith doubt, and Jigba. not close. Okay, He would go in the top 10 of this class. I mean, I I guess I vaguely get what, what Joe's doing because he is undersized and in the system. That's not something that has historically gone particularly well. But I, I feel like you tapped out on a really good player really early. And that's that's not something. And I, I, I knew this as soon as I saw the Mikal Hardman thing. Okay, you're paying him up to $6.5 million a year. Uh, where exactly he, is he going to fall in? Yeah, that means there's a chair coming open somewhere. Yeah. And here it is. Elijah Moore now going to the Cleveland Browns. I don't I don't really think that's the star that they've been promising in the offseason, but maybe you could 100% be. it is. Is it? 100% it is. Okay. Uh, no smiles in our YouTube comments said, over Jackson Smith and Jigba, you have the same deal that Rodgers has. Jackson Smith and Jigba is not even the number one receiver in this class to anybody. Yeah, a lot, I'll put it this way. Uh, the three on virtually every board I've seen is Jordan Addison. Name me the thing that Elijah Moore doesn't do better than him. I'll wait. He's faster. He's bigger. Uh, he's a better blocker. And that's not saying much because they're both little. Um, yeah, this is this is a home run for the Cleveland Browns. That's as good of a move as you could possibly have made with virtually no draft capital. Now, Cleveland's not picking until the, the beginning of the third round. I, 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 I'm, I'm processing this as it goes. Thank you to all the people in the YouTube comments that alerted me to this because there's a lot of screens happening in front of me, and Twitter was not one of them. I, I feel like Andrew Barry of the Cleveland Browns just did an absolute master class in how to build a roster when you have to make the deal for the quarterback. You have to give up the picks so you don't have the first rounders and, and all of the things. What have I been penciling in to Cleveland in every mock draft that you have done with me? Wide receiver. No. Somebody stopped the run. Oh, Because they yeah, couldn't yeah. do that. Yeah, defensive tackle. But we hadn't done one of those since – we haven't gotten to Cleveland yet, so we haven't done one of those since free agency hit. So Cleveland goes out with their, I'm going to say, limited dollars. Mm -hmm. They weren't just flush with cap space. They weren't in terrible shape. They go get Dalvin Tomlinson, who will help them against the run. I didn't love the signing, but it took away a a problem. You re-sign Ethan Pochich, the, the center. You get Okoronkwo, the, the edge, who's gotten just absolutely more love on this show than probably. If there was a show done by his parents, I don't think he would have gotten as much love as he has on this show. And you sign Juan Thornhill to replace uh, – John Johnson, who just didn't fit there. Then you take your one piece of trade capital, and you go to the Jets, who have made it very obvious that they're out on Elijah Moore. And you go get that guy who would have been a first-round pick in this draft and still has three years left on his deal. 
two years left on his deal because he was a second round pick. That's a master class by the Cleveland Browns. That's how good teams become great. And this will be one of those deals we look back on and go, how on earth did the Jets tap out on this guy so early? And New York Jets making moves ahead of the arrival of Aaron Rodgers. Miko Hardman was signed today. One year deal worth up to six and a half million dollars yes, there's there's a uh, there's a good number of incentive in that but i don't know how much and now sending elijah moore to the cleveland browns to move up in the second round to increase their draft stock, their draft capital what does that tell you there's a second layer of the okay what does that tell you all right so the jets just moved up into the second round they have two prevailing needs offensive line and linebacker yep. it's two biggest needs on this team yep they just traded up to right in front of their pick in the second round. The Aaron Rodgers thing is going to get uh, – that oh, thing yeah. is going to get done, and, one and of those, it's going to get done soon. And one of those two picks will be going to the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, the, theirs. The, this pick for Cleveland, I would say, stays with the Jets because I would argue that there's somebody that they think Green Bay might want and they don't want them in front of them. I don't mind that part. I just hate that you had to give up Elijah Moore to do it. Virtually every time I see players, active NFL players for picks, deals, I almost always fall on the side of the player. Because you get 30% of what they're worth. So you you had Elijah Moore on your roster for two years, and you wound up just trading him for a pick that was, I think, five spots behind where you took him in the first place in a lesser draft. Aaron Rodgers is going to be the quarterback of the New York Jets. That's exactly what this deal tells me. Okay. None of it shocks me. This has been rumored for about a week. I was hoping if I just didn't talk about it, it would go away. <laughs> but alas, it has not. No. Elijah Moore now with the Cleveland Browns. And uh, trades continue to happen left and right here through the uh, through the run-up to the NFL draft. And we will have all the latest for you right here in the Sportsocracy on ESPN. Asheville 92.9 FM, 880 AM and 1400. We got Jeremy's bangers of the night coming up next. Also, top of the 4 o'clock hour after the Sports Center update, it will be time for a top 13. And, of course, when you're talking draft classes, you always got to start with the most important position in all of sports, top 13 quarterbacks coming up from Flosterdamas Jeremy Green. 